always uh, been fascinated with the fact I heard years and years ago that Abraham Lincoln's favorite song was Dixie. I thought, how could this great Union president love a, a, a song of the South so much? And then I heard this story that explained it all to me. It seemed that on the last day of the Civil War, there were 2,000 people gathered in front of the White House waiting for Abraham Lincoln to come out and make it official that the war was really over the rumor that swept Washington. 2,000 people were there. Two military bands were there. And as the day progressed, it became more and more like a picnic or a party, and some of the boys were getting a little bit out of hand. They were yelling things like, what are we going to do with the rebels now that we've won the war? Lincoln heard as much of this as he could stand, and finally he came out on the porch of the White House, gave a very short address, and said, this is a time for healing. This is a time for binding up of wounds. It is not a time for revenge. He said, but if there's one thing we've all of us gained through this terrible war, it is that we can now, all of us, once again, north and south alike, lay claim to that grand old song. He said, let the band play Dixie. <laughs> News was run from Richmond in that fading April sun. The lead handed Grant his sword, the war was finally won. Into the streets the people spilled, feeling the excitement build, and the crowd around the White House milled, asking, Is it true? It's finally done. Inside the White House, Lincoln heard them calling out his name. He sat there wondering what to say to ease their years of pain. Someone yelled, come out the door, tell us what you got in store. For the rebels who have lost the war. So out upon the porch, Abe Lincoln came. He said, we are gathered not in anger, but in celebration. Let's be grateful we are once again a single nation. Let's stand together reassured, now that peace has been secured. Our nation's illness can be cured, and I suggest the overture for this occasion. He said, let the band play Dixie, play that tune that holds its head up high and proud. Let our nation, once divided, bloody but unbowed, take the swords of war and beat them back into a plow. On the day that Lee surrendered, Mr. Lincoln told the crowd, I'll let the band play Dixie A tired Union soldier Hobbled on his only limb Filled with bitter memories The war had left with him He dragged his wooden leg and cane His face was set and creased with pain He stumbled, fell and rose again he wondered what the future held for him. He spied a black child kneeling there in humble gratitude. He knelt down right beside her to share her thankful mood. Grateful words were raised in prayer. God, in your sweet loving care, our broken lives now please repair. Let our wounded nation be renewed. And let the band play 
Dixie. Play that tune that holds its head up high and proud. And let our nation, once divided, bloody but unbowed. Take the swords of war and beat them back into a plow. On the day that Lee surrendered, Mr. Lincoln told the crowd. I let the band play Dixie 